<laughs> How's it going guys? Mr. Holton here. And have you ever felt like your shepherd is just never good enough? You jump into Mass Effect Legendary Edition's improved character creation, you try your hardest at creating a somewhat attractive commander, but no matter what you do, your own custom shepherd always turns into something like this. <laughs> now a lot of you guys can understand and relate to this pain, and let's be honest, remaking your shepherd over and over again can get pretty tiring. So what do you do? Well, you go with either of the default shepherds. Here's the thing, as much as I love the iconic faces of both the default shepherds, after replaying the trilogy so many times, I felt like I wanted to mix things up a bit. That's when I found it, the holy grail of shepherds. I give to you the ultimate commander, Chad Shepard. Now if you're like me and you've been on the hunt for a shepherd that reminds you more of a James Bond than a real life supermodel, then this mod is for you. Honestly, this custom shepherd is possibly the most attractive main character that is now known to entertainment. But to use him, you will need to download this mod for all three games, because you cannot simply recreate him on the character creation screen. Now Chad Shepard here, originally named Matt Shepard, is just really a great custom shepherd since he always has this face of contentment and satisfaction, which makes him both charming and intimidating, because you never know if he's genuinely smiling at you or if he's plotting to murder you in your sleep. But Chad Shepard here isn't the only mod I want to show to you today, because some of you may choose to play as female shepherd. And again, if you want to change things up, I've got just what you need. Say hello to Babe Shepard, also known as Joan Shepard. This military woman is a total knockout, and to use her, you will also have to download three separate skins or mods for each Mass Effect game. But Mr. Holton, how are you running around with that sweet armor set in the first game? Ah, well, this is also a mod. This particular one is the ME3N7 armor mod, which lets you use, well, the N7 armor from Mass Effect 3, but in Mass Effect 1. But that is not the only apparel mod I've got for you today, because when you're not saving the galaxy with guns blazing, you might want to equip your femship with something more comfortable. Well, maybe not comfortable, but damn! <laughs> oh, that's hot! That's hot! You might recognize this skin-tight suit, as this is the same apparel worn by the Queen of Omega, Arya. There are two versions of this suit that you can choose from. The other one shows some more skin, so if you're into that, you can pick that instead when installing the mod. I do like that the Alliance logo is printed on the back of this version of Arya's suit. It certainly helps make the idea more believable that Shepard would use this type of clothing. Now finally, this mod might be the most useful mod of today's video. If you're right in the middle of your Mass Effect 3 playthrough, chances are that you're not very satisfied with how your Shepard looks. I give to you the Appearance Modification Menu mod. As you might have guessed, this mod lets you customize Shepard's face and hair, no matter what point you are at in your game. Hell, there are even some additional extra features that you can add, like the Elusive Man's eyes, which you can then intensify and even change the colors of. Also, there are new hairstyles that you can choose from. You can access this menu in the Captain's Cabin when choosing Shepard's outfits. Now remember, this mod is only for Mass Effect 3, so not for the first and the second game. Anyway, that's it for today. If you have any suggestions for any other mods that you'd like to be showcased, let me know in the comments below. I've also added links to today's mods in the description. As always, have a great day guys. Mr. Holton, signing out.